So in this video, let's take a little tour of the Bexis Live Site Tree. The site Tree is the area over here off to the left, and it is the area that is going to keep all of your controllers and the groups that you create. We use the term site just as a different name for a controller. Uh, the two terms are interchangeable. Site's just a little easier to say and to print in different areas. So yeah, when we say site, we just mean controller. In our video about creating an account and getting set up, we did at the very end of that show how to make a group and add a site, but let's just repeat that now just to kind of get started. When you first start, the only thing you're going to have is a master list and nothing in it. And to create a group, it's pretty simple. You just click this little menu here off to the right and select the new group and give it a name which you can change later if you want. It's that easy. If you want to change the name of the group, you just click the little pencil icon next to the name there. Simple. And then if you want to add a site, click the little menu in that group so that we'll add a site to that group. Click the new site. And then at this point, you're going to need the serial number and authentication code of the controller. We cover finding that information in one of our other videos. So I'm going to presume you have that. Um, my serial number starts with 1100167. That's a BEXIS 5. And so it pre-fills that first part of the serial number when you pick from the list. And the rest of my serial number is that. And then the authentication code. which I will have changed by the time this video is published. And so you can see it's been added to my site tree in the group that I have just created. Now, you'll notice like I just did there, groups can be expanded and collapsed. You can collapse the whole site tree if you want and you can then control what is seen on your screen you can see i've got quite a few of these in my site tree because i've been doing this a while um, you might notice that this has a red border and some have other color borders let me explain what that means red means that the unit is in alarm see in the little pop-up it says at the bottom their status in alarm Blue, of course, means good. We like blue in pools, uh, so we say jump in, the water's fine. Um, gray means that the con controller is offline. That means that our server has no connection to that controller. Perhaps the network is down, perhaps the controller's been turned off, uh, but that there, that there's something that needs to be investigated there. Yellow means that the controller is connected to our server, but that the, auth the authentication code that we used to originally set up this controller is no longer valid. That can happen because somebody changes the authentication code on the controller itself. And that is a way to, to manage the access. And so uh, it's very nice way to be able to give somebody temporary access, create an authentication code, give it to them, and then after that access is no longer needed, remove the authentication code. But that's what yellow means. That means you need to, or I, in this case, I should be contacting the, the pool manager there or whoever is responsible and get a, a new authentication code. And when, you know, when we do that, you just simply go here and then you have to when you click on it, you'll have to put in a new authentication code. Okay. So if we're looking at this and we say, wow, well, gosh, I really shouldn't have put that controller into a new group. That really belongs up here in one of these other groups. If everything is drag and drop. Just click it, drag it, and pull it up into here. And it now is a part of this group. And then I can say, well, there's nothing in this group. I shouldn't have made it in the first place. Easy enough. We just delete it. 
And you do have to know that if there are sites controllers in the group, um, they're going to get deleted if you say OK. So this reminder comes up so that you're very aware that you would be deleting groups. We don't have any in there, so we're just going to go ahead and delete them. Um, another thing I would like to be able to point out to you here is there's a search capability. You see the search bar here. And so if you know something, some text, so let's say pool, you'll notice that it picks up everything that has the letters pool in it. That's not case sensitive. And you'll also notice that it, it picked up controllers that were in collapsed groups. Okay, so if you see here, there's only, let's see, one, two in this open group that have the word pool in them. And it picked up so it searches your everything that you have, whether it's collapsed or open. So that can be a, a nice way to find things if you um, name them well and give them good names. And speaking of naming things, I look at this one now. I see that actually this is one of the controllers in our wet lab. So you know, I think I'll just change that name now. Because that's really wet lab number two. Okay, so now, yeah, and I can even if I want, just say, okay, let's put those together, one, two, and three. Easy enough just to drag and drop. You can drag and drop groups. You can drag however you'd like. And then one other thing I'm just going to point out on the use of the site tree is that if you don't really need it right now, easy enough to hide. See this little, they call this a hamburger menu, I guess, because that looks like a piece of meat between two buns. Um, click that, disappears, bring it back. And uh, I will say that a lot of these operations that we've showed, especially the dragging and dropping, they're really easiest to do on a desktop PC. However, it does work on mobile devices. Everything that we have here is suitable to be used on tablets and smartphones and all that. Just some of the things because of the way the touch screen works with drag and drop is a little bit more cumbersome on a mobile device. You can do it, but it takes a little get, getting the hang of it. And I think that's kind of the basic tour for you of the site tree. We've covered most that you can do over there and how that works. Um, we'll cover in a separate video some of the features that are over here in the actual area, the dashboard area for, for the controllers. Um, so tune in for that.